Hello and welcome back to Building the Bible. My name is Liam Croft and I am the Digital Ministry Coordinator here at St. Mark's Anglican Church. Today we're going to be taking a look at Noah's Ark. If you'd like to skip ahead to the build, you can do so by going to the time located on the screen roughly over here somewhere. So let's get started by reading the Spark Story Bible reading for today, Noah's Ark. A long time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God except for one man. His name was Noah. He loved and obeyed God. I am very sad that people have forgotten about me, God said to Noah. I am going to bring rain to flood the earth, lots and lots of rain. Build yourself a huge boat of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife, their sons, and their sons' wives. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deer and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys, all came two by two. All different kinds of animals birds and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Noah took all of them into the boat. Then he shut the door. Inside the big boat the lion roared, the dogs barked, and the birds chirped. It was stuffy and stinky. It was muggy and hot. On the outside it rained and rained. It rained big giant drops and little baby drops for forty days and forty nights. The rains came down and the floodwaters came up. The water splashed on the sides of the big boat and pushed it up and down for 150 days. Finally, it rested on top of a tall mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, Come out of the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all of the animals came off of the boat. They put their feet on dry land. They ran, they skipped, they jumped. They twirled and danced in the sunlight. God thanked, they thanked God for the land and God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. The animals and the birds and the creepy crawly things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow of brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, never again will water flood the earth. Whenever you see the rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too, and I will remember. So, to recreate that story with Lego, there's a lot of things that we can do. We could try and recreate the scene of all the animals uh, entering the ark, and we could do that uh, by using uh, different um, Lego uh, animals, like this horse and dog, or you could uh, show off Noah's family with uh, a minifigure like this one of Noah that I came up with. Uh, you could also build part of the ark, or you could use uh, other types of toys like uh, Playmobil, for example, uh, to uh, introduce more different types and species of animals um, to, to show them all off. What I'm going to do, though, is build the ark, and I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller scale, so unfortunately my Noah um, mi minifigure here won't uh, fit in, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this blue base plate, and I'm also going to use some blue bricks to build up some waves around, and this will become kind of the ocean of flood waters. Then I am going to grab some of my brown bricks, and I am going to build a sort of scale model of the arc. So we'll run the time lapse in a second here and you can see exactly how I do it. But keep in mind, if you don't have these kinds of bricks, that's perfectly okay. You can do whatever you want. And as always, if you want to share anything with us that you build, you can do so by emailing lego at saintmark.ca. So let's get on with the time lapse.
All right, so I'm done my build. As you can see, I've built a little miniature version of Noah's Ark. Of course, uh, in the story, this is a huge ship that is capable of holding hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands or more, of different species of animals, as well as Noah's whole family. Uh, so I don't have enough Lego to build that at the scale of a minifigure. So instead, I've gone for kind of a miniaturized version, and I've specifically kind of chosen the uh, part of the story uh, where the Ark was kind of just after the rain um, during the 150 days when it was kind of just floating, uh, looking for uh, dry land before it rested on the mountain. So as you can see, I've got the miniature Ark here. I used um, just brown uh, Lego bricks to build kind of the base in kind of a um, boat-like shape, so kind of like a, a squared off oval almost. Um, and then I uh, slowly built it up, and then I just used uh, special tilting blocks with a little tilting mechanism to get the roof set up here. Um, so it's just a normal piece, and then with a little tilting mechanism on the bottom, like something you use for a door if you've uh, ever used that um, to, to build an extended door uh, with LEGO. And so you can see I've got uh, kind of a small wave at the front, a big wave at the back. So all in all, a pretty simple build, but it still tells the story of Noah's Ark. And as I said earlier, there's so many different ways you could approach this story. That's it for this week. Next week, we will be taking a look at a new story. And as I said earlier, if you'd like to share any of your creations with me, feel free to send an email to lego at saintmark.ca. That's all. Bye.